Hi everyone, hope you're well. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. Today we're making kofta curry. Delicious, tasty, spicy and aromatic. Your family will definitely enjoy this. It can be made with chicken or lamb and perfect with some naan bread or chapatis. And I'll link up the videos for those in the description below. As always, it's easy to make, doesn't take long and your guests will be very impressed. And hey, if this is your first time, you like what you see, you like food, hit subscribe to stay up to date with new videos every week. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's get started. So to make things easy, I've split the ingredients into two parts. The ingredients that you will need to make the kebabs are three pounds of chicken mince, which I've minced even more, and this is so it helps with the binding. 130 grams of breadcrumbs, about three quarter cup of oil, two chopped onions, two teaspoons of green chilies grinded, one and a half tablespoons of garlic and ginger paste, one teaspoon of red chili powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, two teaspoons cumin powder, and salt to taste. And the ingredients for the curry are four chopped onions, about half a cup of oil, one tin tomatoes which I've blitzed, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, about one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoons of red chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder, Powder, one and a half teaspoons cumin powder, salt to taste, and to garnish, green coriander leaves. Okay, I'm just going to show you the first part of making the curry. So we've preheated our oil and we're going to throw in our onions. And I'm going to fry these onions till they're golden brown. And while this is happening, I'm going to show you how to make the chicken mince mixture. We are going to add in all our chicken mince ingredients together. The onions are still frying, so we're going to move on to the next step. And for this, it's a good idea to have some oil, so I'm going to grease my hands. And we're just going to make them into this shape. I've lightly greased the foil as well so it's easy for us to pick up. I've popped the kebabs in the freezer so they hold their shape and while that's happening we're going to work on our curry. The onions look lovely and they're golden brown and we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to add in the tomatoes. Garlic paste, garlic and ginger paste, the spices and the tomato paste as well. And we're just going to cook all of this. And I'm going to leave this for about five minutes on low to medium heat. The curry's done and I've set that aside and the next step is to cook the kofta kebabs. The kebabs are done and they've cooked nicely and now we're going to add in our curry to it. And after adding the curry, it's, it's up to you whether you'd like to add water to this so it all depends on the consistency that you like um, I will be adding a little bit of water I'm just going to add some water to the same pot and now this part we're just going to be very gentle with it because we don't want to break the kebabs And we're just going to cook for about five minutes and then we're all done. Try it out, let me know what you think in the comments below or you can even tag me in a picture. If you've made this before, I would love to hear what you did different. If you enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up and to see more delicious recipes, do subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.